Whenever I choose plants for the garden, I'm always thinking about how can that help the pollinators? You know, the butterfly effect is part of the chaos theory, but the butterfly effect I'm talking about here is making sure that we have plenty of food for our little acrobats of the sky. You see, about one third of the food we eat depends on pollinators like butterflies. They come in beautiful colors and they dance and fly their way around the garden as they pollinate their day away. The Botanical Garden of the Ozarks helps us better understand how to create a habitat or ecosystem that's more friendly to butterflies. My name is Charlotte Taylor and I am the Executive Director of the Botanical Garden of the Ozarks here in Fayetteville, Arkansas, and I help to manage and run this beautiful facility. This is a great story of hardworking volunteers that thought we needed a botanical garden in northwest Arkansas. They negotiated with the city of Fayetteville to get this piece of land in 1994, incorporated, and then nothing happened for a long time except for people dreaming and thinking and hoping and raising money. And then not quite 10 years ago, we were able to open to the public to the facility that you see today, and we've been growing and growing ever since. When we first started, we didn't have any gardens, and a gentleman by the name of Carl Totemeyer came to Northwest Arkansas and he said, we need to build something. So they created this necklace where our gardens are placed around. Right now we have 12 uh, di distinctive gardens that are around this circle. On the circle we have a lot of weddings and events and whatnot, but we have 12 gardens, everything from a Japanese garden to a sensory garden to a vegetable garden to a children's garden. So we have something here for everybody. My name's Lissa Morrison and we are at the Botanical Garden of the Ozarks. Behind me is the Butterfly Pollinator Garden and I am the lead gardener here in charge of design and uh, garden management. The Butterfly House we put up about five years ago and the Butterfly Garden went in three years ago. There's a great interest in butterflies and pollinators. Every year we see more and more people we are the only butterfly house in Arkansas, and so we have lots of visitors that come just to see our butterfly house. The best thing a home gardener can do is have flowers, nectar plants, food, from spring until fall. Some of the favorite plants of the butterflies are butterfly weed, milkweeds, all the milkweeds. This is the annual milkweed. It has flowers for all the butterflies, which provides nectar. It's also a host plant for the monarch butterfly. So it provides nectar and host for the eggs to be laid on. Some of the early bloomers would be creeping flocks. The asters for late food are really important. All butterfly gardens are going to need nectar plants. This is, Lantana is a wonderful, easy nectar plant. All the butterflies love the lantanas. We have a whole group of volunteers that helps with our butterfly program. And these volunteers do the life cycle, some of them at their home. We call them butterfly nannies. Uh, they have, they come early in the spring with the first butterflies that we release in the house. In the house, we have the host plants and nectar plants. We have everything they need to do the complete cycle. I've been here for seven years, and the more flowers, the more pollinating flowers that we have in the garden, the more we see butterflies. So I, I lean toward looking for plants that we call, I call well-behaved natives. They've been here for eons, so they can hold up to the weather conditions regardless of the winter or the summer that we have. 